And at a time when people are finding it very hard to put food on their tables, the arts stop being a top priority. But that is leaving artists struggling and in need of some help. Eight on your side's Polk County Bureau reporter Stacy De Silva joins us now live from Lakeland with what's being done there to bring some awareness. Hey, Stacy. Josh, I'm standing in downtown Lakeland. It's considered the heart of the arts here in the city. And even though artists are struggling right now, they want you to know they are still here in your community. Sales have been down, and the art shows have been down. Wayne Shannot is a master of color and the perfect stroke, but those skills have been no match for a global pandemic. I have sold maybe two paintings the entire year. Usually, he tells Eight on Your Side, he sells that many every month. People just don't have it. They just don't have the, the funds, and art is usually the last thing that they'll, they'll purchase. They need their necessities, you know, they need their food, their transportation. The key to selling art is getting it in front of people's faces. Dozens of art shows and fundraisers have been canceled this year in Lakeland because of social distancing guidelines. We really want folks to remember that the arts are a big part of the economy, and we definitely want them to come out and support. Julie Townsend and the Lakeland Downtown Development Authority are planning an upcoming Coming art and wine walk to help. Lakelanders can see these teasers popping up on downtown light poles painted by dozens of local artists. They are truly works of art, so of course we are going to auction them off at the night of the event to uh, help raise money for the art guilds. So the Art and Wine Walk is next Friday. $25 gets you wine and food at local establishments. You can walk around, check out some of the art, maybe even buy some. But coming up at 5.30, hear from the executive director of a local dance studio about the hardships at his studio and how Sun and Fun is trying to help make up some of their losses they've experienced this year. Reporting live in Lakeland, I'm Stacey DeSilva, 8 on your side. Yeah, and 